we are required to solve for the support reactions of a prop beam loaded with triangular loadings throughout the span. One is uniformly increasing and the other is uniformly decreasing from simple support to fixed support. Let us start with linearly increasing load from 0 at A to WO at B. We are going to solve for RA, RB, and MB. Let's go! To solve for these three unknowns in red, let us start with RA. And by moment diagram by parts, we are going to take the fixed support B as the moment center to draw the diagrams. For RA, this is the diagram, a linear curve. Magnitude is RA times L. For the triangular load, this is the diagram, a third degree curve. Magnitude, negative WO L squared all over 6. The approximate elastic curve of our beam is this one. Then, let us draw the tangent to the elastic curve at B. Since B is fixed, the tangent line is horizontal. At A, the vertical distance between the tangent line and the elastic curve is zero. Thus, the deviation of A from the tangent line through B is zero. The formula for deviation is area times bard x from A, and this is equal to zero. For the triangular moment diagram, we have one half times the base L times the altitude RAL. The centroid of this triangle from point A is two thirds of L times two L over three minus the third degree spandel of moment diagram. That is one fourth times base L times the altitude WO L squared all over six. And the centroid of this area from A is four fifth of L times 4L over 5 is equal to 0. RA times L cubed over 3 transpose the negative 1 4 to the right side we get WO L raised to 4 over 30. Solve for RA we have WO times L over 10. This is the magnitude of the reaction at A. To solve for RB let us sum up all forces in the vertical direction in the load diagram. For upward forces, we have RA plus RB is equal to downward forces. We only have the triangular load for the downward force. One half times base L times the altitude WO. Substitute WO L over 10 for RA plus RB is equal to WO L over 2. Solve for RB. 1 half minus 1 over 10 is 2 fifth. 2 WO times L over 5. This is the magnitude of the reaction at B. For reaction moment at B, sum up all the moments to the left of B. Two forces contributes to MB, the RA and the triangular load. Moment at B is equal to RA times L minus WOL over 2 times 1 third of L. Substitute RA and we have the value of MB. Now let us go to the second case in which the load is decreasing from WO at A to 0 at B. Let us solve this case in two ways. First is by taking A as the moment center to construct the moment diagram by parts. And second is by taking B as moment center. Let's go! We take point A as our moment center. In this case, RB and MB will be involved in the diagram. This is the diagram for MB. It is uniformly distributed with a magnitude of MB. And the moment at A due to RB, this is the diagram, a triangle. Magnitude is RB times L. And for the triangular load, this is the diagram, a third degree is spandrel. Magnitude is negative WO L squared all over 6. Again, we draw the approximate elastic curve and then draw a horizontal tangent at B. The deviation of A from the tangent line through B is zero. Formula for deviation A from B is area between A and B times bard x from A and this is equal to zero. For the triangular diagram, 1 half times L times RBL. Bard x from A is L over 3 plus the rectangle 
mb times l barred x from a is l over 2 minus the third degree spandrel 1 fourth times l times w o l squared over 6 barred x from a is l over 5 0 rb l cube over 6 plus mb l squared over 2 transpose the negative we have w o l raised to 4 over 120 multiply both sides of the equation by 120 over l squared we have 20 rb times l plus 60 mb is equal to w o l squared we have this equation with two unknowns the rb and mb to solve for the reactions we need to reduce this equation into one unknown the easy way to do it is by expressing rb and mb in terms of ra we can achieve it from the load diagram summation of vertical forces is zero ra plus rb is equal to one half times l times w o rb is equal to w o l over 2 minus r a m b is equal to the summation of all moments to the left of b m b is equal to r a times l minus w o l over 2 times 2 thirds of l so m b is equal to r a l minus w o l squared over 3 with r b and m b expressed in terms of r a we can now go back to our original equation 20 times rb times l plus 60 times mb is equal to w o l squared distribute 20 l inside the bracket 10 w o l squared minus 20 r a times l distribute 60 we have 60 r a l minus 20 w o l squared is equal to w o l squared combine similar terms we get 40 r a l is equal to 11 w o l squared solve for r a we have 11 w o times l over 40 this is the magnitude of the reaction at a now we can solve for RB, substitute RA, and we have the value of RB. This is the vertical reaction at B. MB is equal to substitute RA times L minus WO L squared over 3. We have the answer for the moment reaction at B. Another way to solve this case is by taking the fixed support as the moment center in constructing the moment diagram by parts. Our diagram will involve the reaction at A. The triangular load, however, is not increasing to our choice of moment center. We need to revise this load into an equivalent loading so that our triangular load is increasing towards the center of moment. The equivalent loads are these two, a downward uniform load and an upward triangular load. Let's start! The moment diagram due to RA is this triangle. Magnitude is RA times L. The moment diagram due to upward triangular load is this third degree spandrel. Magnitude is WO L squared over 6. And the moment diagram due to downward uniform load is this parabolic spandrel. Magnitude is negative WO L squared over 2. We have this approximate elastic curve and our tangent line at B. The deviation of A from the tangent line through B is 0. Area between A and B times barred x from A is equal to 0. For the triangular moment diagram, 1 half times L times RAL. Barred x from A is 2 thirds of L. Plus the third degree spandrel, 1 fourth times L times the altitude w o l squared over 6. The centroid from B is 1 fifth of L. So from A, the centroid is 4 fifth of L. Minus the parabolic spandrel. Area of the second degree is 1 third times L 
times the altitude, WO, L squared over 2. Centroid from B is 1 fourth of L. From A, the centroid is 3 fourth of L. 0. RA times L cubed over 3 plus WO times L raised to 4 over 30 minus WO L raised to 4 over 8 is equal to 0. RA L cubed over 3 is equal to 11 WO L raised to 4 over 120. Solve for RA. We have 11 WO times L over 40. This is the magnitude of the reaction at A. Summation of forces vertical 0. RA plus RB is equal to 1 half times L times WO. RB is equal to WOL over 2 minus RA. We have the value of the vertical reaction at B. Moment at B is equal to the sum of all moments to the left of B. Moment at B is equal to RA times L minus WOL over 2 times 2 thirds of L. Substitute RA times L minus WOL squared over 3. We have the magnitude of the reaction moment at B.